What's up everybody and welcome to the Switch Bit. Today we're doing an unboxing video from the Square Enix store. So kick back, relax, tune into the tube and enjoy another unboxing review. I am not a rapper. I am just a man with a Nintendo Zapper. Roll TV, get my hat turned backwards. Classic at the core. Weak spot exposed and a blessing at the core. And I collect from the NES to the Genesis to the Dreamcast playing burnt compact discs. Feeling what I'm doing? Digging my vibe. Hit that like button. Follow and subscribe. Feeling what I'm doing? Digging my vibe. Hit that like button. Follow and subscribe. Cause week after week, nothing but change. I still be on these streets hunting them games. So every now and then, Square Enix, their online store, they do like a massive sale with all their games. I always miss it, or I don't have the funds, or just for whatever reason I don't do it. But finally, I jumped on it, and I got an array of games from different systems that I'm very, very excited about. So here's the box right here. It's compact. It's supposed to have everything I ordered. I honestly can't even remember everything I ordered. It was 50% off. A ton of stuff from ps1 to switch to ps3 i think but i'm gonna go ahead and open this up i got my trusty knife here I'll try to make this short and sweet and i know one of the games i got is um one of the rpgs that they have for switch that is only available if you want it physical through uh, their store. Otherwise, it's digital only. They're normally like 50 bucks. I got it for 25 bucks because everything's half off. So hopefully that'll retain some value. Here it is. I see a little peek of, of what's in there. I don't know. I don't know. Like I know I got some PS1 games. Picking it out. <laughs> okay. All right. Stack of PS1 games. I'm going to set those aside real quick. Because I kind of want to go over them last. Here we go. Let me make sure everything's here in my packing list. Probably. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. And it came to $80. Half off of everything. And I'm going to do this for my first game. Because this is actually what brought me to the store. Is Lost Sphere. I haven't played Lost Sphere yet. They have three uh, Square Enix, I think it's the uh, RPG, Tokyo RPG Factory or something like that, making these um, smaller JRPG games on there. There is uh, the Setsuna one, there's this, and there's another one that came out. But this is one that I wanted to play for sure. And it's, like I said, you can only get this online to their store. Otherwise, it's $50 digitally, and I don't like to spend that kind of money on a digital platform. So Lost Sphere. Let me put it right up here for you to see. No inbox. Sealed. Everything. Next up. Some of y'all might not care at all about this. But I know there's a lot of people that do. I do. Come. Man. They really pat. Like. They're efficient. Lord. I'm just going to have to rip this box open, honestly. I don't want to cut into it because this is a collector's edition that I got in here. So one of my favorite RPGs from last generation is Final Fantasy XIII. A lot of people hate it. And I actually own Final Fantasy XIII too, but I have yet to play it. I heard that it's better. It has towns. It has more of those JRPG kind of things that people expect from a game like Final Fantasy. And this is the Collector's Edition. So this is for the PlayStation 3. That's where I played uh, Final Fantasy 13 and where I am plan to play the rest of them. The Collector's Edition. This was $19.99. Let's see what it has in it or if it even says. I don't want to do an unboxing of this yet if I don't have to. Oh, Lord, it doesn't even say what's in it. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to have to unbox this for sure. Because this is not something that I'm going to keep sealed. I am going to play this. I think. I hope. I want to. 
time is kind of sucky right now honestly life life is crazy and there's not a whole lot of time in the world but there's always time to unbox some games and the, all the rest are playstation one games i have a a decent sized playstation one collection but i don't even think i have any new sealed playstation one games and these all are sealed so when you buy anything off of the square enix store it's coming to you sealed evidently there was a reprint of a lot of these games i guess around the ps3 era because the ps3 was backwards compatible with the playstation one so these are all sealed and i believe they're all greatest hits titles too but so final fantasy 9 sealed look at that oh I'm really happy to get these items. I like some sealed games in my PS1 collection. Um, especially some Square and Square Enix games. Because these are amazing. Final Fantasy IX I played for the first time recently. I guess within the last year. On the Switch. And a lot of people really, really love it. A lot of people really do. I It was, it was cool. I really enjoyed it at first. I liked the story. But... Um, the battle tempo and I mean the battle system in general, the gameplay I wasn't too fond of. Really cool characters though. If you can see this, there's some dots. Dot 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 dot. I don't know if you'll be able to see that because my camera's not the greatest, but as if somebody like ripped something over it. So there's actually several dotted holes on here. So I'm kind of bummed about that, that it's not perfectly intact sealed game. Next up we've got now this looks perfect. This is the Collector's Package Final Fantasy Anthology. So this is Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy VI, a.k.a. Final Fantasy III in North America on the Super Nintendo. I've never played V. Maybe I'll give that a go. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy Anthologies. These were, uh, these were all like $7.49 a piece. So for a new sealed PS1 game, you can't really do much better than that. Oh, yeah. Chrono Cross, which I already have, but I don't have it sealed, and I've never played it. I think it might be a sequel to Chrono Trigger. I don't know. If you know, let me know, because I'm, I'm feeling really stupid about this right now. But uh, Oh, 20 years after the events of Chrono Trigger, a new set of adventures are pre adventurers are preparing for a battle that will surpass even space and time. So, yeah. Sequel to Crown Trigger. I don't think it's uh, regarded as highly, but whatever. New sealed game. Got it. Final Fantasy Origins is the next one. This is uh, Final Fantasy 1 and Final Fantasy 2. I feel like there's... A... This might be like old school OG. Because if you take a look at these, like, there's no... When it hits greatest hits to here, it's all one piece. And then this is different because this is like the old school. So this might not even be a reprint. This still might be like original packaging. Let's see. Sometimes they have the dates on there and you can like kind of figure it out from there. But not so lucky. All right, one more. Final Fantasy Chronicles. Man, that's a lot of... <laughs> Origins, Chronicles, and Anthology. So this is Chronicles. So this has Chrono Trigger. I know the PS1 version isn't as good as the SNES version, or so I'm told. But this has Final Fantasy IV and Chrono Trigger sealed. So I'm definitely not going to touch these. I'm, I'm not going to play the. I can download all these off play, uh, PlayStation 3 or find used copies to play on the PlayStation 1. But yeah, sealed copies for all of these games. So it's Final Fantasy Chronicles. So I have now... One, two, no, three. I don't think they have Final Fantasy three uh, localized other than the DS and PSP and mobile remix. Uh, but so we got one, two, got Final Fantasy four, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, Anthologies, which is five and six, and then Final Fantasy nine. I have Final Fantasy seven. I have Final Fantasy eight uh, in box, complete in box, not new and sealed. They didn't have any other Final Fantasy titles to purchase, or I would have purchased them. Because having all these games sealed to me is a really big deal. Lost Sphere sealed. I'm probably actually going to open this one and play it. 
And then Final Fantasy 13 2. I am a sucker for collector's editions. So I'm actually probably going to open this up. I'll probably have a video for it um, and just talking about what's in it. But I really can't wait to play this. I love Final Fantasy 13. It got a lot of hate. It was really good, though. Uh, you were able to... If you got through like that 25-hour mark, that game escalated to another level. The combat, in my opinion, is still unparalleled. So... All this right, ya. Hip. 80 bucks. A lot of new and sealed. Super, super happy about that. I can't really be hunting them games right now because of all uh, the COVID and everything. So this is this is me hunting them games, doing an unboxing. So thank you all for watching. Happy hunting, everybody. And I hope to see you again. Like and subscribe.